Your fish tank should not smell bad. Don't ever let anyone tell you that they don't keep a fish tank because it smells. If they do, send them here to this video and I'll handle it from here. For those of you looking for a quick fix, add some activated carbon to your filter and that smell will be gone overnight. But for those of you that understand something in your tank is causing this funky smell, I'm gonna tell you what's most likely causing it and how to prevent it so you don't have to use activated carbon if you don't really want to. You ready? Let's go. So activated carbon is great at removing odors from your tank, removing medications from your tank, and also helps a lot in making your water look crystal clear. But activated carbon is a chemical media that needs to be replaced about every month or so. If not, it can actually leach out all the nasties that it's absorbed right back into your tank. The cost of replacing that every month, along with everything else that we spend in this wonderful hobby, can quickly add up. So besides putting a band-aid on the issue with chemical media, let's talk about the underlying reason why your tank smells like some hard-boiled eggs left out in the sun all day. Your tank smells because of the decomposing organic matter in your tank. It's really that simple. If you get that decomposing matter out of your tank, you eliminate 90% of that stench. The number one decomposing matter causing a bad smell usually is a dead fish. Has it been a while since you've seen little Johnny? Well, you may want to move some decor around and make sure his dead body isn't trapped in your tank, decomposing away and causing your entire living room to smell like a sewer. If you can't find little Johnny, keep in mind that he may have been eaten by his comrades, but some small parts of him could be stuck somewhere. And the number two reason that your tank smells is because of our fish poop and it stinks. Obviously, right? Well, if you're allowing a lot of fish waste to build up in your tank, you guessed it. It's gonna make your tank stink. Schedule water changes and vacuuming of your substrate will help reduce this waste buildup. I've said this before and I'll say it again. This hobby is not for the lazy. When we get lazy, our fish suffer, our tanks look nasty, and they'll eventually smell nasty too. But how often should we do water changes? Or when do we know it's time for a water change? The indications will come well before your tank starts to stink. Check out this playlist right here to help you set up a solid maintenance schedule. Let's not forget our filters. We can water change and vacuum as frequently as we can to try to get that smell out, but without filter cleanings, we'll never climb out of that hole. Filter cleaning should be done on a schedule as well because the trapped poop and gunk inside your filters will also eventually release those stinky gases into your tank water and then out into your living space. I know your next question, how often should you clean your filter? It's in the same playlist. Another huge reason that should be at the top of the list is you're overfeeding the tank. Before I get into that, let me remind you guys to smash that like button because if you're still here, I must be doing something right, right? Am I right or am I right? Am I right? By overfeeding your tank, your fish are gonna eat more, which means they're gonna poop more. Rewind back to that if you need to. But uneaten food can cause many problems in your tank, from ammonia spikes, to cloudy water, to stinky smelly as well. As the uneaten food decomposes, bacteria eat those dissolved organics and their poop stinks too. Just did an entire video on these type of bacteria and the cloudy water that they could cause in your tank. I'll link to that at the end of the video in case you missed it. Dead plants can also cause an odor in your tank. Sometimes they can go unnoticed if you have a heavily planted tank, but finding and removing them will eliminate the smell as well. The premise here is that any decomposing matter in your tank, whether it's dead bodies, uneaten food, dead plants, or excess fish waste, it will all contribute to a bad aquarium smell. Don't blame your tank and your fish for stinking up your place. The thing to blame here is you. Granted, some of you are new to the hobby and were just unaware. Okay, you guys get a pass. But for the rest of you, tisk tisk. I know I may sound harsh, but I'm here to give it to you straight. I'll give it to you like it is. I'm pointing the finger at you, so get to work. Hope you found that video helpful. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe right here so that you don't miss any new content. I've got the cloudy water video here as well as the when to playlist ready for you to check them out. Whatever you decide, I'll see you on the other side.